Hi, let's take a look at New Window Live 2 Structure and Workflows, starting with Project Setup. Now, when you first open New Window Live 2 Project, you get a window comes up, so let's take a look at that. And you have a setting tabs here you can click on, which allows you to select drivers, output modes, and audio ports. First things to look at is output mode, make sure you're on multi-track mode. Then you want to look at audio system under as your driver, and in this case, on the Mac, I'm in built-in audio, but in this case, I'm going to select the uh, Yamaha AIC-128D. You could also select Dante Virtual Sound Card if you have that installed, and click on it to select it. It will switch. Now I have the AIC-128 card selected, and you can see on the audio ports, uh, your Window Live 2 will automatically select input ports, and output ports, and they all in use, as you can see, up to 128 channels here active. Then we want to look at the sample rate. In this case, I will use 96K. Then we want to look at the control panel. Now the buffer size setting should be based on the track count, the sample rate, the higher sample rate, the higher the buffer, and computer performance. Now in this case, I'm recording a 96K. Um, based on the computer performance, I'm going to choose 512, should be okay. And finally, we want to look at the pre-record time. Pre-record time allows you to recover the beginning of a performance if you have started recording too late, for example. And you can set that up to 60 seconds. Now we can click OK, open the project, open selection. Now it will ask you where you want to save the project, so make sure you save it to the right directory. And it automatically creates the tracks. You can see it's opening a session, a project here. And I have 128 channels that can look at here, already set up one to one, starting with input one. Now you can start naming your tracks, kick one, kick two, snare, etc. You can also change the order. For example, if kick two is on input one, I can just set that up this way and say input one of kick two and input two has kick one. I can also give it a color, so I can select, let's say my 10 first tracks are drums. So you can see it's selecting 10 tracks by pressing and holding shift. And in this corner here on the upper left corner, I can select a color, let's go red, set a red color for all the tracks here. As you can see the meters in the bottom here also are set color red as well. Now let's take a look at the project setting one more time. So you can access the setting on the upper left corner with a little icon here or F2 under file settings and if you notice the setting has an added section project section here which you can set a project start time project length sample rate record file type which should be broadcast wave file which allows you to record metadata record bit resolution which should be set to 24 bits or 32 bit float and a project frame rate which is up to 32 frames per second drops or non-drops now let's review what we've done so far if we look at the project setup we selected a driver, Yamaha IC-128, in output mode, multi-track, as well as sample rate. We selected under control panel a buffer size, adjustable buffer size, based on the performance of the computer, sample rate, channel count, etc. We set the pre-record time, which allows you to recover the beginning of a performance if you started recording too late, and can be set to up to 60 seconds. We also save file location. We named the tracks. We give it a colors based on different groups of instruments, drums, guitar, keyboards, etc. We also can change the routing. For example, a kick drum can be changed by just dragging and dropping the track in a different position. And we also review the project settings. And this concludes the project setup section of New Window Live 2.